Hey guys, welcome back. So today I will be showing you how to get your nails from this to this. But before I do, I'm going to show you how I take off my previous gel polish. So first, you're going to need 100% acetone. Next is some foil. I just used the regular rolled up foil and cut it up into small pieces. Then a coarse to medium grit file. What I do next is to just file the top coat off. Be careful to not file your natural nail. This is a coarse file and it can thin out your nail. And this is how your gel should look like after filing the top coat off. I forgot to show the cotton in the beginning, but now you just take a small piece of cotton, saturate it with acetone, and lay it on top of your nail. Next, you take the foil and wrap it around your finger. This is going to help melt the gel polish off of your nail. There are different ways to do this. You can purchase these little finger clamps to replace the foil, which I believe you can get at Amazon or Sally's, or you could just stick your hand in a bowl full of acetone. So once my fingers look like the Tin Man, I waited about 20 to 25 minutes. Then after that, I took off the foil and started lightly scraping off the gel. It should come off effortlessly, but if it's not, just put the foil back on and wait a little longer. And while scraping, you have to have a light hand because you don't want to damage the surface of your nail. After I was done with my left hand, I went ahead and did the same thing with my right hand off camera. And this is how my nails were looking once the gel is all off. So in this video, I used the Rossi Glam Powder Kit. It came with four different color dips and it was kind of hard for me to pick which one I wanted to try first because all of them were such cute colors. But I went ahead and chose this 016 Sweetheart, which is a neutral soft pink and it ended up coming out beautiful. What also came in the kit was a base coat, activator, and top coat, which I will show you how I used all three in a second. So before starting, I had to prep my nails first. I went ahead and used a medium grip file to shape my nails to my desired look. Then of course, you always have to push back and cut off your dead cuticles. This step is always a must. I wanted to show you guys real quick in regular speed how satisfying it looks when the cuticle comes off in one piece. Or maybe it's just me. Next step is to buff out the surface of your nails. After that, I used alcohol to take off excess oils. So since powders tend to separate over time, always give them a quick shake to mix it up again. So now I take my base coat and paint it a little away from the cuticle, just cause you don't want too much buildup around the cuticle area since it will cause easier lifting. So next you dip your nail at about a 90 degree angle and tap off the excess powder. And this is what my first dip looked like. When I was done dipping all of my nails, I used an old makeup brush and lightly dusted off the excess powder before continuing with my second dip. Now this time I painted my whole nail, painting as close to the cuticle as possible without going over it. And if you do, just simply wipe it off. It definitely takes a steady and careful hand. A tip while painting the base is to not brush on too much. If you do, it can clump up and it will take a lot longer to dry.
And this is how my nails looked after the second dip. In total, I did three dips and painted the base up to the cuticle again. This is how I do it, but it's up to you guys on how you do it and what look you're trying to go for. Just remember to not paint too much base before every dip. So once I was done dipping, I took the activator and painted it all over my nails. Usually you wait one to three minutes before filing, but I went ahead and did my right hand off camera before continuing with my left hand again. I already liked how my nails looked overall, but I wanted to file them just a bit. So I mostly filed the sides of my nails and around the cuticle area. I was being careful to not file too hard because I didn't want the color to come off. And this is what my nails look like after filing. After that, I buffed them to have a more smoother look. I then took the activator once again and painted it all over my nails. After that, I took a lint-free pad to wipe off the excess activator. I then took the top coat and did two coats. I usually like using gel top coat, but let me tell you guys that this top coat is bomb. It literally dries so fast and it came out as shiny as a gel top coat. I was really impressed. Last but not least, just put some cuticle oil around your cuticles, massage them in, and voila, you're all done. This dip powder set is definitely a must try. If you guys are interested in purchasing it, you can use my discount code SARAHF to get 20% off your purchase. Especially if you guys are starting off, this set has everything you need. Thank you guys so much and hope you enjoyed this video. See you guys next time. Bye!